Prophecy Ministries, and we are bringing you the love of the Lord as both of our networks kick in here at a special early presentation of Anita and the Man. Again, I'm Brian Hewitt, bringing you the love of the Lord throughout the entire world as we spread his love to your hearts and souls and to go forth and proclaim the kingdom of God forever and ever. Today we're going to be speaking of the four acts. We're going to be speaking of our Mark series, and we're going to be, uh, but our, our our foundation scripture will be from Acts chapter 14, 1 through 16. So let's get our, our fingers into Acts chapter 14, our clean sheet of paper, and let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, the endless rhyme of your love that brings us to your road of grace, that brings us to your straight, your straight and narrow. Many called a few are chosen. We thank you for your time, the endless rhyme of your love that brings us to this happening of your embrace. The embrace of your eternity. To go forward with the clarity of their new mind, the new heart that you provided for us. To get, lift up the strength of the unity of the Holy Spirit. To lift up our prayers, our repentance. To say, I want to know ever some more every day, O oh Lord. And then, to ask for you to pour down the wisdom and discernment more than we deserve. As we receive your new mercies upon this day. For the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, following, let's get right into our lesson. Right into our lesson. Acts chapter 14. And it came to pass in Achenum that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews and, say, and so spake that a great multitude of the Jews and also of the Gentiles believed. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds of evil affected against the brethren. Wrong time, therefore, abode they, speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. But the multitude of the city was divided, a part held with the Jews and part with the, the apostles. When there was an, an assault made both of the Gentiles and also of the Jews with their rulers, to use them despitefully and to stone them. And they were of, and they were of it and fled unto Lystra and Deborah, cities of Lystra, and unto the region that lieth round about. And there they preached the gospel. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, important in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. And the same heard spoke, and, and, and some heard Paul speak who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, and said with a loud voice, Stand upright in thy feet, and he leaped and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lutz, Their gods are come down to us, in the likeness of men. And they were called Barnabas, Jupiter, Paul, Mercurius, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priests of Jupiter, which was before the city, brought oxen and garlands into the gates, and would have done sacrifice with the people. Which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in the, uh, among the people, crying out, and saying, Sirs, why do ye these things? We also are men like passions with you, and preach unto you that you should turn from these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are, that are therein who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their ways. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessing of the reading of this word. They go, brethren, into this lesson. To done in opposition to Jesus, to done in service to Jesus. We're speaking of the four acts. The first 16 verses of Mark 14 were told of the four Preparatory acts. And um, we speak of this, brethren, of the times, of the attitudes of our gratitudes, to speak of this time, the endless drama of our love, to guide us into all of this measurement of the truth. Mark chapter 4, 1 and 2. After two days it was a Passover, the feast of the unleavened bread, and the chief priests and the scribes saw how they might take him by trickery and put him to death. But they said, not during the feast, but, 
at least there be an uproar of people. We are speaking of this topic because many are easily deceived, many are easily at first feeling tri the triumphant glory of the new life, but many still have a foot in a, in the, in a passive foot going forward that is called lukewarm. Jesus, Jesus is not about having both sides. You're either going to hell first class or to heaven first class. Come, brethren, feel this moment of his truth. Feel this moment of his love. Guide us into the all truthfulness and his love. Guide us into everything, everything that we have for him in the accordance of the wisdom of the truth. The truth does set us all free. And the plot thickens their intentions to display. Mary prepares for Jesus' burial. Mary anoints Jesus. The disciples are it with indignation as she anoints with her. Mark chapter 14, verse 3. I've been in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper. As he sat at the table, a woman have, came having an alabaster flask a very costly oil, a spikered, then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. Breaking the jar, pouring the perfume over his head, anointing and wiping his feet with her hair. John chapter 12, verse 3. Then, then Mary took a pound of very costly oil, a spikered, anointed the feet of Jesus, wiped her feet with her hair, and the house was filled with fragrance of the oil. Brethren, on the weekends and Saturday we speak of in the book of Mark. In the a.m. hours, Monday through Friday, we speak of the book of John. We teach. P.m. hours, we speak of the topic of peace. And Saturday is what, is what the Lord places on our hearts. Su Sunday is what the Lord places on our hearts. And again, you go, go to our calendar of events at briantewood.com, briantewood.com. In Jesus, praise, praise of Mary that what she has done for her would be a memorial for her for, in, in the ministry of Jesus. Leave her alone, for she has done the good work. And Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good work for me. There would always be the power, there would always be the power to help. But not so with Jesus. And Mark 14, verse 7. For you have the poor with you always. And, and whatever you wish you may do with them good, but me you do not do not have always. Brethren, it takes a courageous victor to always fulfill the task of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not so much, I got one scripture and I'm ready to open up my church. No. It's called run and done. No. And if I had could count up to a billion trillion. That's how many alleged circus performers I've met in my 20 years of ministry. And some of them are very prosperous. But brethren, we come unto you feeling the power of the Lord Jesus Christ coming into the highest praise. Mary's actions will be memorialized. Mark chapter 14 verse 9. Assuredly I say to you, Wherever the gospel is preached to the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. We're speaking of Mark chapter 41 through 16, as well as, as, well as back in this the scripture in depth through Acts chapter 41 through 16. Judas prepares to, to, prepare, to betray Jesus, to oppose, to in service to Jesus. Brethren, I have met I have had many a friend turn their life turn themselves upon me, for whom I had to complain. Look at this what happened to Jesus. Jesus went through much tribulation before he even got to Gethsemane. Who am I to complain? Who is my wife to complain? We speak of the endless realm of Jesus' love. We speak of the truth, the adorning happening, the happening of that earthquake of the new you. Brethren. Life is coming to us now. Life is coming to the actualizations 
are the measurements of the new you. Lord, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You're the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. Strengthen us that we go beyond the sacrifices of our lives, that we go around the sacrifices of human pleasures, they go into the task of your obedience, O oh God, willing to die, willing to starve, willing to lead many by your example. To lead those into the victory of Jesus Christ. To lead those into the time frame. O oh Lord, be with us, guide with us, flow with us. We want you to come unto us, O oh God, as you feel your reality no longer ours, as we lay ourselves on the altar of you, O oh God. We are here to, like you, O oh Jesus, bring a division of the absolute truth, your truth, not our truth, not Anita's truth, not my truth, but your truth. We bring unto us all the peace. Peace cannot be negotiated. But peace can only is a gift from God. It can only be lifted up in the raises of the praise from Galatians chapter five verse twenty two. Enter this time, brethren. Enter this love. Enter this moment of each time frame. Comes the absolute truth that we have. Comes the absolute truth that we are going to express upon. Exodus chapter twelve. Now the Lord, verse chapter, verse one. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, "This month shall be the beginning of months. This month shall be the beginning of months, and shall be the first month of of the year for you. Speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying, On the tenth of this month, every man shall take of himself a lamb, according to the, his father, a lamb for a household, a lamb that brings us to many plots against Jesus." But brethren, Jesus guides us into his truth. Jesus guides us into his aspirations. Jesus guides us of the explicit instructions. On Mark chapter 13, 14 verse 13. And he went out to of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city and a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. Wherever he goes in, says the master of the house, the teacher says, where is the guest room in which we may eat Passover with our master? For two of his disciples, Peter and John, with either miraculous foresight and having made prior arrangements to meet a man who will provide a large upper room furnished and prepared. The two disciples do as instructed, as we should do as, as instructed. They go into the city, Jerusalem, to go in and find just as Jesus prophesied. They prepare for the Passover. Mark chapter 14, verse 16. So his disciples went out and came into the city and found it just as he said to them, and they prepared the Passover as we prepare our new lives with Christ. As we prepare the power of the anointing, the power of the expressions of God's truth, Lord, we love thee. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our hearts. Romans 10.13 It is for those who don't know Christ. For those who need to be redeemed. To focus on our reality of our redemption with Christ because we are redeemed. Romans 10.13 is now should be your song, brethren. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Mark 11, 22, have faith in God. Have faith in God. In Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repeat this after me if you can. Dear God, 
I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my, sin, turn from my sins accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Fill me and take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you Jesus for bringing me forward. Thank you Father for loving me. That's my wife. Praise your name in the background. I am lifting your name up. But most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Before the throne of God. It doesn't get any better than that, brethren. And as we, our, our names are being sung before the throne of God, and each and I, we invite you to become part of our ministry. To go into this time right now. To go into this picture of the reality to travel with our evangelical teams, our medical teams to the unchurched nations, to those that would need you to those that, that are coming under you to those that, that love you and need you beyond anything as you plant your financial seed into this ministry As we go into this time, brethren, as we move into this time frame, the Lord is going to take us. The Lord is going to mold us. As we plant our financial seeds into this ministry, we reap what we sow. We reap what we sow, and we come into the accordance of all truth. The truth does set us all free. The truth does give us that embarkment of what we have. And as that seed is placed into this ministry, your harvest will come unto you as the windows of heaven will open up before you and blessings will pour down upon you and your life and your family that you'll have no room to store them at all. No room to store them at all. Brethren, welcome to our ministry. Welcome as we prepare a new place for you. Lord, take us, love us for yours. We sing unto you, O God. We sing unto the phases of our praises. We sing and lift up this name unto you, O God. Lord, take us, love us, we are yours. As Mary anoints Jesus, using an alabaster jar, breaking the jar, we understand that this be is really the beginning of the journey of Mary. She's letting go of her past from the seven demons that she was possessed her. She became a servant and a follower of Christ and a close ally and friend. When these acts completed, the good and the bad and the ugly, the stage is now set for Jesus to keep the Passover. For Judas to betray him to the chief priest. For the trial, crucifixion, death that would lead to his burial. Every day we do things, small though they may be, that might be preparatory to greater things. That might prepare us to, good, to do good or to do evil. So many of us want to buy the Colosseum here in Los Angeles for the church. Many of us want to go into this time frame right now. To move into all acts of Mark chapter 14. So the disciples went out and came to the city and found it just as they, as Jesus said to them as they prepared the Passover. Brethren, we seek unto the Lord his truth. The truth does set us all free. The truth does give us every peace, every time of his love. The truth of the discourse from where the soul came from. And in Second Peter, 
chapter 3, 10 through 14. But the, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, both the earth and the works that are in it will be burnt out. Therefore, since all these things will, will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of the Lord? Because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements which melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to this promise, looking for new heavens and a new earth to which the righteous dwells, therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessing and the healing of this word. We come unto you, brethren, with the utmost humility and strength that we wish to share with you. My wife, Anita, and myself invite you to spend time over our networks of YouTube at the Brian Hewitt Channel, Ustream, the Hewitt Channel. You see an archive of over 800 videos that you can have, that you can be part of be basically your own seminary school. We come unto you, brethren, and speaking the good news of the Lord, speaking the time frames that we have, speaking the goodness of God's loving truth. The loving truth shall set us all free. The loving truth is going to guide us and bless us to all unrighteousness, to move away from all unrighteousness, to move into the righteousness of God. Fill us, O God, deeper and deeper into your truth. Give us the strength of each new day. Give us the strength of the time frame of your love. Take me, O God, into this time. Take me, O God, into this well-being of your moment. Take me, O God, into this expressions of your love. For the loving truth of the throne room of Jesus, the throne room of God, in Jesus' name, Amen. Brethren, we have covered Mark chapter 14, 1 through 16, and Acts chapter 14, 1 through 16, as our foundation scriptures. Your foundation lies right now by taking that step forward at the time frame of Jesus. We sung, sing unto you, O God, the deepness of your love the depth of your realities that we share with you. The depth of your time frame to be. Lord, I love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our hearts. Give us our time. Give us our love. Give us your truth. The truth shall set us all free. The truth gives us that moment of each time, brethren, of each love, to guide us into reality, to guide us into your truth. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And remember, brethren, what I also say quite often, backing up that scripture, Matthew 7, 7, ask, seek, and find. You have not because you ask not. Ask not. We are excited that Anita and I have been called in the unity of not only marriage, but in the unity of ministry that God's calling to merely make the sacrifices by going and proclaiming the living word of God every day through this network in person. Brethren, Jesus loves you. He gives to you all the all and all right now to come into his, his expression of his truth, the expression of his love, to bring all and all, brethren, into the realities that the poor we're going to always have, but we do not have enough time to get into the Word of God. 
We aren't like Jer Jericho spent 40 years thinking they had another 40, 50 years to, w to turn their life over to Christ. And the only thing left was Rehab's home with a purple scarlet robe hanging out of her former window. Imagine. The earth dwellers thinking that the future earth dwellers of that former Jericho thinking they were better than a harlot. What can a harlot have better than I or some of my, someone of my school said, well, they're damned to hell. So let's not, I'm not putting a time stamp when Jesus is coming back. I'm saying you do not know your own time stamp when Jesus is going to take you home. So brethren, don't give yourself a heart attack when Satan dances in front of you and takes your life away with the addictions of cocaine, sexual immorality. Let's go forward. Removing our saves from another addiction called complacency because I, I put that equal to murder, equal to any form of sin. Because if you have knowledge of someone else's sin, they're guilty of that sin, and your act of complacency has just killed you. So let's be bold. Let's be bold to you in Jesus' name. Let's give the unnecessary truth unnecessary love away from the unnecessaries un the necessities that Satan wants but bring, but bring it into the grasp of the armies of Christ wrapped around us by the blood of Calvary and what I like to say often is you shall be walking across many more than one river of change in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name brethren we love you Jesus loves you and that concludes our broadcast for this evening. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Pray out. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your truth. The truth does bring us all free. The truth shall make us all free. We thank you for the, expulsion, the expulsions of the sins out of us and how you, we exalt you, O oh God. Lift up our praise every day to give us the strength to lift up our repentance and our prayers. To cry unto you, I want to know you ever so more every day. And to bless us and to pour down the wisdom and discernment that we do need, O oh God. We ask you to bring your heavy hand of love, of change over the country of Syria. To lift up all the nations of Africa and to knock down all the borders and make you the ruler. In the name of Jesus. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. And brethren, on behalf of Anita... And yours truly, the man, Brian Chewitt. That concludes our broadcast for this evening. On behalf of Anita and the man, this is Brian Chewitt. We thank you for your time. Until next time, do stay up to date with all of our crusades coming to your part of the world at brianchewitt.com. brianchewitt.com. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day for the people.